Hello? Anybody? Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Okay. Good evening, sir. Um, so are we ready to start our lesson this evening? Yes. Okay, we, we can we can't wait um to all of them so we can just start. Uh welcome to our virtual class in our reading and writing skills. This is our quarter four week two. As you can remember, um, in week one, the module one talks about a critical thinking. Now in this week two, we will going to talk about a critical thinking as a reasoning. So, okay, uh, before we start, I would like to ask anyone to volunteer who would like to volunteer to open this class with a prayer kisa ganahan mo hatag og prayer ah uh, beya ganahan ka mo hatag og prayer maulo <laughs> so okay lang bahala gamay so okay ra siya Okay, sir. Ako na lang. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, um, guide us for today. Uh, guide me karun na um, lesson, Lord, and discussion. Please give us strength and knowledge para masabdan ng mga mga topic na ihatag ni Sir Kalan. And in Jesus' name, in the name of Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Ginakol ba ang Lord ko first time na umaglid of prayer? Okay, Amen. Thank you, Veya, for that uh, beautiful prayer. And then, welcome everyone to our virtual class. Okay, as what I've said, our lesson for this evening is all about critical thinking as a reasoning. Okay, so as I proceed, my topic, this is our module two, week two. Um, the text and context, connection in Critical reading as reasoning. Okay. Uh, do you still hear my voice? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, unstable daw akong internet. Okay. Um, moving on. So before we start, to our lesson discussion, I would like to ask you to answer the pretest test. Uh, the pretest. Um, I will just give give you a five minutes. Um, uh, five minutes to answer the pretest. So this pretest, I will be. I will just give it to. I will post it in our group chat. In our group, okay. So wait for a while. I will get the pretest. Then I'll give you only five minutes to answer. Okay. Um, do you copy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Check check your um. You can check your. Uh, reading and writing group chat, our group chat. Just click the link and then answer it in five minutes. So now is 7.10. You will be done in 7.15. Okay. 
So after that, we will continue our lesson. Itong bagong misod na atay exam, ipost na ako sa itong group. I-click ang link and siri ang exam. Mahuman ang exam is 7.15. You only have 2 minutes to go. After 5 minutes, I will going to lock this exam so no no one can take it again oh good evening take the exam take the pre-test exam One minute more.
Okay. Time's up. Tuharang nakatake. <laughs> Hindi pa po ako natapon. Okay. Continue answering the question. Nikki, can you please keep quiet because we're having class? Okay. Manang exam. Wait. Naka-answer na? Almost, sir. Almost. Almost? Yes, sir. To flip on what you learn with this Can you please have this have a insert counters like Kisay ni Ray Sughan. Kisay na ipakunta na. Galaxy J4. Do you have any question? The question. Kisay ni Galaxy J4. What is your question? Did you raise your hand? Back up, evidence, evidence, evidence. Okay, um, one minute more. So we will stop the pre test exam. So is all of you, did all of you answer the exam? 11, uh, 10, 10 mukabuok, naka answer na mo sa exam, tanan. Almost. Eh, hey, almost. Kanina pa na almost. <laughs> Akong gihatag ninyo five minutes. Nahimo na lang siyang time, times two. So one minute. Okay. I will stop the... Wait lang, sir. I will lock the pre-test test. Then one, two, three. Okay, sir. Yes. Ten mo kabuk pero lima rang ni take sa exam. Asang lima. Wait, sir. sir. Black in talk us. Wait lang. So, okay. Um, we're going to start. We will continue our discussion.
Uh... <laughs> Where are we? Here in the pretest. We're done with the pretest. We move on to our discussion this evening. So we are now in critical reading as a reasoning. Okay, so at the end of this lesson, um, you are going to identify effective critical reading strategies. So that's number one. Number two. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Did you blur it on the screen? Yeah, internet problem. Okay. So number one, identify effective critical reading strategies. Okay, number two, distinguishing critical reading from reasoning. Number three, explain critical reading as reasoning. Number four, analyze a well-written text through its elements. And lastly, number four, formulate evaluative statements about a text uh, about the text read okay so at the end of the lesson you are going to learn all of this moving forward so critical reading as reasoning spot the difference so critical reading goes beyond recognition of the text meaning and restating it in in your own words so each and every one of you kung namoy makita nga text in the context of critical reading you have different um, ideas or different interpretation so all we have to do to make it sure nga dapat ang inyong ginuhon na align with what is the meaning of the text. So second, critical readers, you, you, we as a critical reader, does not merely scheme the text at hand. Kanang scheming is, imuha da yung tagaan o meaning ba? Wala pa ni mo siya matunay ka na nga text. So muhatag da yung ka o conclusion. Scheming, muna siya gitawag nga scheming the text at hand. So in critical reading, that is not the case because critical reading, critical means you need to think it uh, deeply. You need to understand the meaning behind the text. You need to understand what are the elements um, related with the text. So in short, critical reading is a broad understanding of the text. So, if you are a critical reader, so there are certain steps that you need to follow in order for you to extract the real meaning and the understanding of the well-written text. So, number three, critical reading to reach a solid, solid interpretation of a text the critical reader must dwell on what the text does by making such remarks beyond what it says. From this, the critical reader must identify what the text fully, fully meaning kinatibukan, fully means based on the previous analysis. So, ingana siya. Um, critical reader will not just accept or consider um explanation or meaning around the text if it is not complete it should be whole um 
the certain steps are being followed. So, nine mga steps nga gisunod. Okay? So, example. We have here example. Did you see the example? The next slide. Okay. Yes, Super balita magnanakaw. Kisay familiar ani. Hello? Am I still here? Hello? Sir, yes, sir. Madungog pa ko ninyo? Yes, sir. Okay. Sa kaninga, kaninga text, super balita, magnanakaw. Uh, Naaba mo'y familiar ba ninyo ang word, kaninga word, kaninga statement, kaninga text? Yes, sir. Um, yes. Kisa to nito bag. Paunsa ni mo siya nga familiar ka nga word. Can you share with us in the class? Hello? Nawala na. Nawala na ko. Ako'y nawala. Hello? 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 No, sir. Ay, napa ko? Opo. Opo. No, sir. Napa ko? No, sir. Yes. Putol-putol no, sir. Putol-putol? Yes. Connection, sir. Okay, kana siya. Clear na? Klaro na? Opo. Dili gihapon. Hello. Hello, sir. Wala wala ko, sir. Okay. Okay, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, kise ganahan? Kise ganahan mo share kaning uh, super balita magnanakaw. Asa ni ninyo nadungog kini nga word, kani nga text? Kisa ni si Galaxy J4. Sige daw, Galaxy J4. Asa ni ninyo mo siya nadungog? Sa TV, sir. Din sa sinin. <laughs> sa TV? Unsa man TV? Unsa na gisulti dito? Na ano na na ay nangawat na sir ba? Gikawat, gikawat, gikawatan, ah. gikawatan so, sila sir. Ah, uh, okay. Naka-remember mo sa election? Yes sir. Remember mo sa election kasi gi 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 gipanganlan og magnanakaw. Si BBM sir. BBM sir. BBM no? Yes sir. Yes sir. Kinsa ganahan mo pasabot nako nga nganong ingon ana ang text pero dili man mao ang interpretation. Kinsa ni isang kamot? Kani haram ni si Galaxy oi. Di ni kalit ni kalit ra na sir. Ni. Sorry, sir, 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 what happened? He won landslide. 
but he was labeled as a magnanakaw. So what happened? So how are you going to understand the text based on reasoning? Siganahan na ka-record ni siya ha. Kabalo ko kinsa ang nag-participate. Siganahan mo siya ana. Um, what do you mean, sir, na kanang um, nanong na daw si BBM even na uh, ano na ginainan siya nga magnanakaw siya ganun? Yes, nga man. What happened? Um, because kay um, naman siya nabuhat ng mga kaayuhan and dili man um, it doesn't mean nga ang binuhatan sa amahan mabuhat sad sa ano sa iyang anak nga na bitaw. And wala siya nagpadala sa kung unsa man ang mga ginasulti sa tao nga na bitaw. So what And do you mean by that? He is just doing what do you good. Mean, what, what do you mean by this text? Super balita, magnanakaw. What do you mean? Ma ma magnanakaw um, means um, you're a thief. You're st stealing something that it's not belong to you. Anak bitaw. <laughs> 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 uh, we are we are talking about critical reading as a reasoning okay we are going to relate and connect our lesson to this kind of text and then the actual what what really happened uh when bbm was called as a magna nakao but in reality he won landslide diba so um, what I'm trying to say is that yes. when you see a text or a statement, um, kabaluna ka, diba? There's a lot of people who believe that BBM and his magna. family, yes, Magdanao, a lot of people. Why? Why? What happened? Why they believe? Because they they did not apply the principle of uh, critical reading as a reasoning. So, wala nila nabuhat kana nga mga steps nga naay mga way on how to really understand the text. So, mauna siya nga, direct dahil sila o join sa mga tao nga naay mga conclusion kung unsa ang nahitabo, unsa ang label nga gihatag sa usaka tao. Example, your classmate your classmate uh kanang labeled you as a magna nakaw and then a lot of your a lot of your classmates heard about it so what would be the result is it all of your classmates will believe or they will uh investigate or they will just simply say that is not true or what would be the possible happenings that were going to happen when one of your classmates labeled you as a magna nakaw? Siguro, sir, some of them is, ano, matuod yun sila nga. Siyempre, ang upan, dali lang kuman kay patuod na nang si Kuan, yung ano, ano, nangawat na siya yung nga na. Pero na may upan na mag-investigate sila o na, Especially if you friend, ilam you have concern kung alam ba, if you have a friend, you can see that 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 you can Thank you for that a, a nice answer. <laughs> yeah, tinood na siya. Depende sa mga tao. But uh, we are talking about critical reading as a reasoning. So the, the best approach, the best practice that a person could do is to really investigate and, and do a research what really happen or if the statement is really true so before giving conclusion 
you need to really uh, research of something in order for you to really confirm if that text or statement is true or not. So that is the best practices that, uh, that a person should do or a student um, should do. For example, uh, what happened in all of the students in Hasa University of the Philippines. They are very young, diba? They are very young. They are educated. But why they concluded that they will not support uh, BBM as the newly elected president? Why they did uh, impose rally on the street? Um, telling something that this is and this and and this and that because of of this and because of that we will not support the newly called um president or vice president i i do not know i also cannot explain those students are scholars they are educated they they think um very good but why they concluded in such and such statement para sa inyo ha ngano man ngano man nabuhat to siya sa mga estudyante hello hello na pa ko Yes, sir. So, what can you say? Who would like to share? Wala, loading. <laughs> Tungod na sa mga kabataan, sir. Uh, Nga naman ang kabataan. Na, kay bata pa, kay bata pa, pa kay pang nauna sa ba? Na. Lingod pa kay pang nauna ah, sa ba? <laughs> Pero you cannot say because Tay, they sabi. are scholars, di ba? Yes, they, they, they are high honors. They are academically kanang proven Say, and test tested that they achieve higher than the average. So... Are they are they in the possession of having a critical critical mindset? Uh, are they conducted the critical reading, facing their own reasonings? So that is the question. So the answer is I also don't know why they are doing that. All I know that they have their people behind them supporting them and urging them to do this and to do that now when when you are in the possession of somebody is controlling you then where is the reasoning in that um in that situation diba when somebody you're just like a robot when 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 that is uh, the reality when somebody is talking to you do this and do that so where is your critical thinking when you when somebody will push you to do that and then you will just directly do it what can you say <laughs> as a student in lahug night high school do you have independent thinking or you are also following what your teachers has been telling you do you have your own free will? Thank <laughs> you, sir. So um, that is how you are going to weigh down um, critical reading as a reasoning. Now we will we will continue our discussion. Um, this one critical reading as a student. 
it is essential for you to practice reading critically. Now, para dili mo ma madala sa mga istorya sa inyong likod, sa inyong kilid, o niya magpabilin nga na amoy kaugalingong decision, so you need to really practice reading critically. Critical reading goes beyond extracting information. See, the word used is extracting. Extracting means imo yun ang pigpugaon ang kanang mga word para imo yun siyang masabtan. Extracting information from a text, rather, it involves recognizing the writer's purpose, identifying the tone and persuasive elements, and recognizing biases. So there's a lot of text or statement that we encounter or a lot of books, magazine, or anything that that uh, in relation with reading. So there's a lot of it. But if you really can, you are a critical thinker, you can really identify what is the purpose, why the writer is writing that kind of book, that kind of novel. So if you are a critical reader, you can understand and identify what is the message of the book. And then how does the author uses the persuasive elements or what kind of um, methods of um, what we call these patterns of development. Uh, the progression of the story in the book. And then we can also identify, recognize the biases. You know already what is biases. Biases are gingon ganina ni kinsa to siya ni Sierga. Mudapig yun na sa itong amiga. No? Mas mutuog yun na sa itong amiga kaysa uban. So that is in the kanang level of biases. What if ang imuhang friend is not telling the truth? So that is biases. We need, as a critical reader, we need to identify biases in order for us to achieve what is really true and what is the truth behind of the situation. So kung kita, friend, kung kamu, friend mo ni BBM, aw, dali ra kayo mumingon nga, ah, dili na tinuod nga magnanakaw. But if you are a critical reader, you need to research and you need to see what really happened and what is really the cause why people is kanang labeling BBM in that kind of statement. So that is a part in the process of reading critically. Next one is critical reading provides high reflective skills. You see the word used reflective, meaning you need to reflect. You need to think on your own and then connect based on your experience and understanding that is reflective. reflection and reflection. So you really need to reflect what, uh, what you have read and what could be the possible connection with the other learnings that you have. So there is really a connection, a reflective um, evaluation on your part to really understand what you have read, okay? And then these reflective skills will allow you to stand back and look at the text from different perspective. So you have your own thinking when you will do critical reading. So in that way, it lends you the ability to see and evaluate how a text presents an argument. So without this skill, kung wala taning a skill, as a critical reader, a reader may run the risk of simply memorizing text. So dali ra kay mag-memorize ang text, pero wala jud nato na feel what is the meaning of that text. 
because they don't have the skill of having a reflective recognizing biases we know what are the permiss uh, persuasive elements the tone and the purpose of the writers so uh mauna siya and then accepting them even if they are flawed sa dili siya sakto biased and subjective subjective means kanang unsay unsay tinuod say muha usahay dili tinuod sa ubang tao so mo na siya subjective so okay if if you have questions you can just directly ask me okay so moving on critical reading advances the understanding of the reader by not taking the text by its face value it studies the compositions every nook kanang nook every corn every corner ba every side every kanang mga little bit knowledge mo na nook and then cranny kanang gamay kayo nga bintang ba gamay kay gintang imuhang may bawaan gamay kay nga mga pasikot-sikot sa istorya sa libro imuha siyang masabtan until you find the author's inconsistencies oversights limitations and other reasonable arguments that is often overlooked by a normal reader so mo na siyang paagi on how you become a critical reader you really need to have the skills in understanding the word the text and then the statements in order for you to give reasonable and then reasonable arguments or reasonable claim for you to stand on your own what is your possession in that kind of statement or text okay so padayon um i would like to ask you if, if identify ninyo if it is reasoning or critical reading example if and then statements wala ko napa ko napa sir napa sir hello napa sir okay napa so identify ninyo kanisha is it critical reading or is it reasoning if and then statements are typically used as critical reading or reasoning so what ninyo so what ninyo sa chat box inyong answer is it critical reading or reasoning so what sa chat box so what's a chat box so what na wala man pa ini so what's a chat box oh what sir ni so what sir oh na tolo pila pa pat oh pat pa ini so what nya trisi man ten man mo kabuok sa pa Oh, sa, dua, tulu, upat, lima, unum, pito, walos. What's up, man? Critical. Okay, critical. Darong a critical reading or reasoning. More na choices. Critical reading or reasoning. Dili, critical. Critical, sir. Critical. Critical. Naman na sa hospital, oy. Okay. Di ba? Oh, akan na critical reading. Okay. So, okay na. Okay, hands up na, hands up. Oh, hands up na, hands up. Okay, what is the answer? We will see what is the answer. Pero before anong answer, ato sa siyang tanawon ng ikaduha kaning if 
something is true, then something else must be true. This is what we call a subjective. Subjective. If something is true, then something else must be true. Yeah, Katolo, if you as a student submitted all of your outputs, then you will pass the subject. No, claro ka, yun, no. If and then. If only. Kung wala if, kung di mo ka submit, di dyan mo mo pass sa subject. Diba? So if, conditional na siya, hypothetical questions. Okay? So what is the answer? Kita ninyo ang answer, wala pa. Reasoning. <laughs> 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 Zero, zero. Zero. Oh, another one, another one. Oh, another one, another one. Another one. This one. Oh, this one. Uh, unsa ni siya? Critical reading or reasoning? Oh, this involves understanding the content of a text. So what's the chat box? Ha? As well as how the subject matter is developed, it, it, it takes the facts but goes farther. So after this, you could present the strengths and weaknesses as you see them for the section with an explanation of your thinking and evidence. So sama na siya. Is it critical thinking or reasoning? What is your answer? Reading. Type, type in the chat box. Sir, ang sabi niyo correct term. Critical reading or critical thinking? Ah, critical reading. Critical reading. Critical reading. Sorry, kumuhan ako critical thinking ha. Critical reading. Okay. Kaning ikatulo, I will be show, showing you a video clip. And then, after kanang after ninyo makita ang video clip, I want I want every one of you to write a statement what you have learned in that video clip. Okay? Understood? Nasaptan? Yes, sir. So, hello? Nasaptan? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. naka-answer na tanan. Oh, naka-answer na tanan. Kay 10 naman ang naka-chat. So, naka-answer. Napayusa. Kay 13 man mo kabuok. Napayusa. Wala ni answer. Kitsa mo na. Oh, critical reading tanan. Oh, wala yung suning. Critical reading tanan. Why reasoning? Tanan na ito ang answer. Ayun. Nakita ninyo ang answer? Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, yes, sir. Nakita? Nakita perfect, answer? Perfect, perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ayun. Yes, perfect. Sir. Perfect. 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 Okay. 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 Uh, I will be showing you a video clip. And I want you to focus and understand based on what you dili na ni siya matawag og reading kay inyo ra man siyang tan-aw ng video but actually kani siyang video clip gikan ni siya sa libro ila lang gi video pero pag tan-aw ninyo sa video i assume lang ang nagbasa mo okay okay so i will stop sharing ako share tong usa tong bag-o um Kanisha, ah, niya sa wala pa ako na. Ako ng share, share na ako. Kani, okay, um, okay. Nakita niyo ang screen? Kita? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, nakita niyo? 
Yes, sir. So, on say title, yes, Ani? Eggs Green and ham. Eggs, eggs and ham. And ham. Kisa na nakakita na ni nga video clip. Wala ako sa... Ay, nakakita na, nakakita na ni? Nailibro na din si... Ay, nakakita ni? Ay, nailibro. So, I will be expecting a sakto yung magtubag, ha? Ay! Okay. Um, I will going to play na, mag-start na. And then, I want you to focus and understand. Okay. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I am Sam. Sam, I am. That's Sam, I am. That's Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you, in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree. Not in a car, you let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Say, in the dark? Here in the dark. Would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain not in the dark not on a train not in a car not in a tree i do not like them sam you see not in a house not in a box not with a mouse not with a fox i will not eat them here or there i do not like them anywhere you do not like green eggs and ham i do not like them sam i am could you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say.
Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box and I will eat them with a fox and I will eat them in a house and I will eat them with a mouse and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am. Okay, good. Okay, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sir, naka-mute ka, sir. Hello? Naka-mute ka, sir. Yeah, yeah. Gihawa siya. Ay, hey, naka-mute ko. Sorry, naka-mute day ko. Ah, okay. Okay, sige. Uh, who would like to... Share your understanding. I assume na to na nagbasa ra ta ato ha. And then, how are you going to connect critical critical reading as a reasoning? So, what is your reasoning in that story? Kisa ganahan si Banaag. Ganahan ka mo share. Oh, wala. Oh. Si Aleya Sardovia. Kani si Sharon Manout, ganahan jud ni siya mo share ba hilom hilom lang. <laughs> oh, mura mag mihilom. Turn into silence on sani ghost virtual. <laughs> Okay, um, since wala may ganahan pa mo share, um, I will just ask you to, to write your um, reflection about it on your understanding about the, the story. Okay, so we're going to move, move forward. Um, we will continue. Okay, here, moving on. So, critical reading does not simply ask what the text says, but more of how the topic is presented and why. Nakita na ninyo kung slide? Nakita Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. The second one, critical readers dwell on distinctive qualities of the text. Readers normally... Uy, kisamay ni annotate. Bugay. Erase, 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 
Translation. Nagduwa-duwa nila ay. On the distinctive qualities of the text, readers normally read text to obtain facts and knowledge. Okay? A critical reader, on the other hand, views over the unique perspective of the author on a particular text on how the facts and author presented arrive at his her conclusion. Okay? Okay. Now I will be showing you a statement. Nasha statement actually story ni siya statement lang And then I will give you five minutes. I will give you five minutes. Uh, five minutes ra ba ni siya? Um, automatic siya mo close ba? Five minutes ra so. I would like to ask you kanang pwede mo 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 add to sa inyong URL i-type ninyo class point up class point up hello class hello? point up sir uh, class oh. point up kabalo mo na class My point space. up my spacer wala. Wala, wala space. Okay. Plus point up. Plus point up. Plus point. Okay. Can you Nakita ninyo? I am a sir enter class code and join. Oh, kana na enter class code. Kana siya. Uh, so, okay. nakita ninyo? Yes. Okay. Ay, ay, annotate na sa day. Kani siya, kani, kani, kita ninyo? Kita siya. Kani, kana, kana, na ay code, di ba? Yeah. Na ay, opo. Na join, okay. Ah, uh, Akong ipakita sa inyo ha ang code. Code para mo na i-type ninyo. Para makasulod mo niya. E gumana yung sulod, mo type mo sa inyo hang reasoning ha. I-type ninyo ang inyo hang reasoning unsa ang inyo hang nasabtan sa kanang statement. Nakuha? Yeah. Okay? So, five minutes ra ni siya. Ah, uh, inextag na ko dai mo dagan din ang oras dayon. So, dili na ko maka-explain ninyo kay para ma-focus mo sa inyuhang inyuhang gibasa. Then, wait sa sira, so, nita ko unsa? Na may question. Sir, unsa so, gani title na tong ko ang ganin? Pangutana na dayon. Unsa gani title na tong ano ka ganin nga tong gi-play nimo? Nakalimot ko man. Green eggs. Green, green eggs and ham. <laughs> Pero dili man tumawang at tuang at tuang i-answer ka ron. Lahit na sad ni. Pero mag-suot oh, mag mag ni. Ato sir. Oh, mag-suot mo ato. Unya na lang. Ayaw ka ron. Unya na lang. Iguman na to. <laughs> okay. Like, okay? Yes sir. Like, okay. Ah, nanatanan? Nanatanan? Wala pa. Wala pa sir. Pa ah, sir. Nanatanan, na nanatanan sa class point? Wala pa ko, sir. Wala pa ko. Wala. O sige, ato, class point. I-type lang sa inyong URL. Class point up. URL? Ay, nako. Tinatanan ka eh. Oo. Oh. Okay na? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay. So, wala pa ko. Isa wala pa. Sir, pwede lang. Wala pa, excited. Asa dapat, sir? URL ba? Imong ikuha nang i-type sa inyo ng URL. Mo-open kag another window. 
Sa imuang cellphone. Kabalo ka mo open na another Sige, window. Sige na code, sir. Ang code ako'y hatag karon. Iingon lang, sir. Ha? Oh, wala ka din. Ako ipakita ang code. Ako ipakita ang code. Pero pwede niyo mo siya i- Ako ipakita ang code. Hindi yung sing answer. Kita mo sa screen. Wait lang pa. Nakita niyo ang screen? Wait lang sir. Kaya pabalik sa amin sa Zoom. Kita niyo ang screen? Oo. Oo. Asa sir? Nakita mo na nasa 86174. Oh, kana, kana. Oh, eight six one seven four. Eight six one seven four. Tapos join na sa pwede na. Oh, pwede na mo join. Susi. Wait, wait. Ayos sa mga type ha kay. Pa na start ang five minutes. Okay. Oh, okay na tanan, okay na tanan. Eight six one seven four. Eight six one seven four. Oh, nanay duha na kasulod. One seven four. Eight six one seven four. Nanay na kasulod duha. Unsa kita type sir? Money. Walapay. Walapay type. Walapa. Ang it type niyo. Unsa yung reasoning na nasabtan niyo sa yung gibasa? Sure, ang sakin na tungo mag type na. Naaram na diha. Madin. Dali na. Nakasunod na. Kailangan ko tayo ng class class code tapos kaning slide ni mo tapos na nakabutang ng dali sa slide wala. Ang class code isod sa ang class code. Kuma naman nakasunod na mo. Ang kita kay na ang pangalan. Upat pa may upat pa nakasunod asa ang uban. Wala kasunod. Napu man mo tana napu. May kasod, sir. <laughs> May kasod. Sulod na mo. Saan ang pagsod? Ano sa ganito? Class code gani? 86174. 86174. Ito sa cellphone na. <laughs> Open like another window. 86174, sir. Yes, eight six one seven four. Okay, thank you. Oh, lima rang nakasun. No, wala ang uban. Ang ito pa to sir. Okay, so, ha? So okay na, okay na. So, upadayo na ko. Go. Padali na ko. Sige. Okay na? Sige daw. Kung... Okay na? Padali na ko ha? Okay. Okay. Okay, mo ni siya. Mo ni ang question. Ah, mo ni siya ang mo ni ang text. Sunod ani nga slide, mo ni ang text nya mag-start nang 5 minutes. I-type ninyo ang inyuhang understanding based on your reasoning. Okay? Wait lang, dili lang siya ma-swipe. Dili na ma-swipe, mo kuandra na siya mo mag-text, mag-type ra ka diha. ดีเลยนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะครับนะ
Hello, kalawags po na. Okay na. Ito, sir. Okay na. Okay. Ito, sir. Ito, sir. Ito, sir. Bea, ano may problema, Bea? Wala, sir. Abi mo nga na ako ganina. Pag, kapag ka na musulod na ka, na anay ka na mupap out. Mupap up na. Ah, wala, wala. Wala pa man ako gi-open. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, um, walo na mo kapok. So, eight na mo. Okay na. Eight na mo kapok. Good daddy, maniwin. Isa maniwin. Critical rating, man. So, eight na mo. So, pwede na ako mo. Pwede na nato sugdan? We go ahead. Dali na, wala to na ko ban, sir. Looy man sila. <laughs> wala man, di mas lakasood. Ah, okay. Lakasood, okay sir. Na? Okay? Okay. Okay, we will, we will, we will go to the other a slide so you were going to start so five minutes ha five minutes oh start it's not it's not all about it's not okay nine okay Oh, good na. Okay, video. start na. So, we proceed? Pwede na. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, I will proceed. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you for for um having this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, start na. This activity requires you to submit a word or a phrase. Multiple submission. The book of the Try before I found them the belly. I know the picture to have it. Try before I found the book of the book. So, sorry. Pera na ba naman? So, only, sir. Wait. Based on oh, your wait. own reasoning, you answer, you answer based on your own reasoning. So type niyo yung answer. D. Wait. Five minutes. Ikatong ko. Patanin ko answer. Critical, dili na. Yes, critical reading as a reasoning. You need to read critically and then you will type your reasoning need to get in a survey before i find the i before i find the word out before i find the word out before i find the word out before i find the word guys and under guys One word, sir. <laughs> <laughs> one word. Are you one word reasoning, Gani? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> one word. Bisaya, sir. English. Bisaya, <laughs> bisaya, sir. Pwede bisaya, bisaya English. Ano? Okay. Um, um, oh, 
Kuan. Usap ay nakasubmit. Ito na. Sana wala tikutok. <laughs> Ayaw, lisur-lisuran. Sili lang. Unsa inyo ang nasaptan. Submit na yun. You only have two minutes more. Wait, sir. Ten points. Hmm? Ang klasi. Huh? Huh? Did you join me in a way, sir? Good one, girl. Good one. Why do I form the table in critical reasoning? Ah, that's all. Hit lang ha. I'm so tired. Hindi ko ito ganyan na ganyan. Hindi na lang eh. Hindi man sir. Hindi ma-add sir. Sir, nani limit sir ang kanin sentence and words. Ano din maad? Nai limit? Dili lang din masumpa ako ang. Maire. Submit na lang. Isubmit na lang. Putol putol ako ang sir sa dini. Isubmit na lang kung dili na masakto pag type. One minute, one minute more. Forty, forty-six, forty-five, forty-four. Submit na. Sir, it means na. Kung ano niya, sir, na send. Asa di ang kung ano submit. Ito lang sir. Wala submit o na submit na na kung wala na. Ay na yun na. Sana sa upos, basta na sa upos ang submit. Ay, pwede pa? Oo. Oh, Na-submit, na basta nawang sa upos ang submit. Wala lang yung oh, submit. Oo, duha na ang nakasubmit. Kaisa. Oh, asa ang pito, <laughs> duha na. Sir, wala yung submit oh, na ako, sir. Seconds, ah, 10 seconds, 10 seconds na lang, i-submit na na. Sir, wala yung submit na ako. Adra, submit na, 8 seconds, 5 seconds, 4, 3, Hola, hola pa ko. Hola sir, wala pa mahaman sir. Lain, lain. Pwede nyo masubmit man good. Sir, pwede. Ay, lain. Ay, sula. Tutuputin ang cancel na. Ha? Padong natatapis li tangad. Lutong. Ay, mabalik sir. Ibalik na to. Pwede. Ibalik sir, dali sir. Naputul-putul ako ang sir sir. Ay, mabalik. Ayo yo yo. Ni dey ke dapat itaas di ay. Balik ni sir. Lana, mana? Okay. Thank you for all of your participation. Katong naka, katong wala naka submit. I type na lang dira sa chat box. Pwede mo ba? Okay. Ato na lang namo yan, sir, sir. Oi. Wala na, wala, wala na yao. Mana ng internet? Dili na pwede mo balik. Ha? Sa chat box na lang namo yan, sir, sir. Okay. Okay. Sa chat box na lang. I type sa chat box. Okay, so moving on, we will proceed. We will proceed. Now, this is a reasoning. What is reasoning? According to Miriam Webster Dictionary, reasoning is an act of giving statements for justification and explanation. Okay. It is the ability of someone to defend something by giving out reasons. 
both reading and thinking critically, reason argument, advancing your understanding, and then understand different viewpoints and make your own judgments. So, mana siya ang reasoning. You are going to reason of something given statements for justification. Okay? Madungog pa ko? Yes, sir. Hello? Okay. Sir. Madungog pa. Okay. These are uh, ways on how to identify reasoning. First, distinguish between fact and opinion. Okay, when you give reason, you need to understand if it is fact or if it is opinion. Okay, so you better separate the, the, the meaning of the fact and then the meaning of the opinion. So that is how you identify. Next is identify the author's purpose. So when you give reason, you need to understand what is the purpose of the author. Um, how did the author presented the, the story or presented the statement? So you need to understand what is the purpose of the author. Next, next to make inferences. Inferences meaning you will going to give justification or explanation based on your own understanding. So that is inference. Um, sometimes they are they call this based on your conclusion. That is inference. Number four, recognizing the bias of the text. Hello, Napako? Sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Hello, Napako? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, number five, recognize the author's tone. So, uh, unsa ang yahang ka ng tone sa yang message? Is it angry or is it happy? Is it lonely? Muna yung tone. What? No answer. Huwag tang ka, sir. Hindi na makita ang screen. Nawa ka, sir. Nawa. Kita ba ako? You make me disappear. Nawa ka, sir. Chika sa tanin niyo, guys. Isuot na ang kwan si Bill. Sa chat box ba? Sa chat box. Sa chat box. Chat box. Box day. Box. Chat box. <laughs> box day. Sige, pagtabi mo. <clears throat> pagtabi sa mo. Wala yung maestro. Pagtabi sa mo. Wala yung sister day. Pagtabi sa mo. Huwag tang. Wala. Unnecessary. Sir, where are you? Nakamute ka, sir. Sir, nakamute ka. Sir, nakamute ka. Okay, hello, Napa ko? Napa, sir. Magbura ka rito, sir. Sir, na na. Okay. Nawala man ko eh. May klaro internet dere. Okay lang. Okay. So, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Um... Nawala ko ang screen ako ang screen no? screen share. Oh sir, sir nawala sir. Sir. Hello? Hello yes, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Um number 6, recognize persuasive techniques number Number seven, highly reflective skill. And then number eight, present your own argument. So, mauna siya. Uh, usually, ang mga estudyante, ang argument sa ilaha, ingun sila lalis daw na ang argument. 
Do you believe argument is a negative connotation? Oh. What can you say? Huh? Is it yeah. negative connotation? May yung gag argument? Hindi naman. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hindi, hindi sir. Hindi. Hello, sir. Hindi. What is your no, thoughts sir. about that? Kung may nga nag-argument, is it negative connotation or positive? Negative or both? Pwede both. Pwede both, okay. Both. So, usually, ang atuang, at, usually, ang atuang naandan, mga good, kung may argument, ang pasabot, naglalis daw. Hmm. Nay lalis. Pero actually ang argument is only a reasoning. It is not really a mere of kanang disagreeing. Maybe your thoughts is something like you are disagreeing or you are kanang um you are positive with it pero it's all about reasoning. Na kay mga rason ba nga nganong ing ana ang imuhang understanding o ing ana ang imuhang explanation. So that is part of your reasoning. Okay? So moving on. Padayon. Okay. Now when you read, effective critical reading, you need to apply read. R-E-A-D strategy. So there is a strategy when you read critically. So this is effective. When you apply READ strategy, your reading, your critical reading is effective. Okay? So first is read with an open mind. So dapat i-open mo'y muhang understanding. So you may be able to identify what are the author's purpose? On ya, what are those biases, persuasions? On sa tuyahang mga gusto nga ipaabot sa mga nagbasa. Aside from employing strategies, you must read the text with an open mind. From here, you can see how ideas are developed and organized. Remember to think critically all throughout the reading process and ask higher order question whenever it is possible. Okay, next. Number two, evaluate sources. So you need to evaluate the source of that um, story or statement. Dapat may bawa ni mo asa na siya gagikan. Unsa yung background. Unsa yung history. You need to understand that. So in order for you to easily evaluate what is the content of the statement or a story, okay? Evaluate the sources. The statement in the text must also be evaluated. Examine the facts and examples. Try to check if there are gaps and in inconsistencies. Check for the accuracy and reliability of the sources and distinguish, and distinguish facts from opinions. Aside from evaluating, look for what it is not presented as well, based on all the facts presented. Assess, assess if the conclusions are acceptable. Okay. Next, author's qualification. Yeah, in wala sa internet. Author's qualification meaning you need to see the background of the person who is talking. Tanaw ni mo kung Credible ba ang nagstorya? Kung ang nagstorya kay standby lang unya nara sa kilid-kilid. So meaning dili kayo reliable ang yang isulti. Pero kung ang nagstorya is kanang presidente or imuhang mama or imuhang manager or imong supervisor so naa meaning ang yahang gistorya. 
So tan-aw ni mo kung kinsay nagstorya para imong ma-identify kung credible ba iyang gisulti. So in addition, remember to evaluate the credibility of the writer. Analyze the motivation of the writing the text by looking at the writer's socio-political, cultural, economic, and personal situation. So yung anana. Lastly, develop a connection to the text. So critical reading requires focus and understanding. You must interact with the text by questioning its assumptions, responding to its arguments, and connecting it to real life experiences. An application, a critical or reflective reading helps you to identify the key arguments presented. Wag kang again. Wag na. Wag na yan. Oh, nap. <laughs> nap ako? Nap ka, sir. Nagbabalik. Napa? <laughs> nap ka, sir. Okay. Going back. So, kana. The last is develop develop a connection of the text. So, dapat sa kanang connect kanang statement or kanang words or kanang text, dapat ma feel ni mo ang imong connection para imo siya masabtan kanang siya. Okay, critical reading requires focus and understanding. You must interact with the text by questioning its assumptions, responding to its arguments and connecting it to real life experiences and applications critical or reflective reading helps you identify the key arguments presented by the author and analyze concepts presented in the text to adapt a critical reading approach practice the strategies to be employed during each stage of reading so magbasa ka I-apply ni mo ang strategy sa R-E-A-D na process. Kana siya. Okay? Kaning, kaning siya, narini, na, natay video ni, pwede rin ninyo balik ko nung tanaw para masapta ninyo kung unsa ang nga paagi nga may effective bang inyong pagbasa. Okay, next. Next, Ana Nia. Nawala na sa... Okay, next. Wala na sa... Yan. Okay, wala. Sana. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. What? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Kumu basa ta na ay na dumo ako na dumo mo. Hello, sir. Hello, madumo ako. Ay sir. Ay potol potol. Okay. Kana madumo na ako. Oh yes sir. Yes sir. Madumo na ako. Yes, sir. Hold down. Madungog na? Okay. Yes, sir. Nawala yes, na ko? Balik na ko, sir. Nawala. 
Nawala ko. Nawala screen ko. Screen mo. Wala na. Hello? Nawala ko screen sir. Hello. Nawala mo screen sir. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Boy, sir, pero imong screen kay nawala. Screen, sir, no more nawala. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Imorang screen ang nawala, sir. But your voice screen, yes, sir. Logo. Kita nyai screen sir. Natuog na si Sir. Burn out. Hello? Hello? Natuog na si Sir. Natuog na si Sir. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Sir, where are you? Hello, hello. Ano na? Why na you here na us? Huwag tang. Masa ka, sir. Balik na. Hello, wala na ako. Wala ka, sir. Saan mong voice, sir? Pero ang screen, wala. Okay na, okay na. Out na ang screen, loading. Turn na mo, sir. Wala na? Oh, sir. Loading kayo ang ang mong gishare. Nag-stop, sir. Hilag, sir. Doon Huwag tang sir. Hello, nawala ko, nawala. Nawala dyan ka sir. Nawala ko sir. Nawala dyan sir. Kana, napa ko? Napa ka sir. Wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Wala na? Wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Okay. Wala lagi internet doon na mga ngarong oras pa. Hingay kay, sir. Ay. Hingay kayo. Madungog pa? Madungog pa, sir. Madungog pa, sir. Balik na, sir. Balik na, sir. Kita na screen mo, sir. Okay. We talk about methods. Now, we talk about strategy. D-R-E-A-D. Now, we will talk about the methods. So, we have S-Q, 
three R. So we have methods. Good guy, you internet, Marquan. So na pa ko. Kita, makita ang slide. Makita sa Makita sa Ah, makita ra, okay. Okay. Wala man. Yun. Lago, sir. SQ3R is a well-known strategy for reading. Okay. SQ3R can be applied to a whole range of reading purposes as it, as it is flexible and considers the need, the need to change reading speeds. So, mauni siya ang SQR, SQ3R. Survey question na ay nag-annotate. Read, recite, niya, review. Makita ra ang screen? Makita ra, sir. Ra? Makita ra, makita ra. Okay, very yeah, good. Lord, sir. So, money siya ang ako, method sir, sa SQ3R. Next is KWL methods of reading. So, nasa'y KWL. Kaning KWL kay... Method guides you in reading and understanding a text. To apply the KWL method, simply make a table with three columns. So, maghimu kag three columns, mauni siya. So, what I know sa K, kunya W, what I want to learn, kunya L, kay what I have learned. So, ang first column, unsay muhang nahibaluan, say muhang nabasahan. Ikaduha, unsay muhang gusto nga makatunan. Kanya sa katulo ang L mo na siya unsay mong nakatunan. So ana, okay? So Ah, uh, moving forward, nate gitawag nga analyzing a written text, mao ni siya analyzing written text. Nani siya siyam kabuok. Ang number one, kay purpose context. So Kung naatay mabasahan o naay text o naay libro, atong unahon nga mahibaluan ang purpose of context. What is the purpose of the story or the statement? So, what does the, te the text aim to do? Does it mean to persuade or does it contribute to discuss of an existing topic? Or what content does the text cover? What purpose does it serve its readers? Ang ikaduha kay author. Pwede ni i-delete kaning annotation. Erase survey. Ay, nawala. Okay. Nakita pa ako ang kwan? Slide? Nakita ba may miss ka rin niya, sir? Lala i-blow lang. Hello? Yes, sir. Kita lang. Oh, sir. Wala na makita. Yes, sir. Makita lang, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Makita na. Hmm. Hindi sir. Wala. Naku. Naapa ka, sir. Naapa naman, sir. Makita pa akong slide. Hello? Yes, sir. Makita. 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 Yes, sir. Makita na. Wala 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 na. Matibay ni. Oh. 
only love and hurt like this. Hindi mo magpatay si Bill. Huwag kang mag-bad words. Si Bill, hindi magpatay si Bill. Hello guys, good evening. <laughs> good night. Mga tog na tao, alas 10 na. Ano, kaya pa ba? Kaya pa yeah, ba natin? Na kaya yeah, pa ba natin na for today's video? <laughs> kaya ko na lang, misigilok ka na. Okay lang kaya, na. Kaya raw, eh, kaya naabi tao ka. Ay? Nagigigol sa ako eh. Ano man yun? Walang nanood. Hindi, nakarecord doon ba ni? Don't see you. Finish him. Finish na. Tawag na tao eh. Hindi din ko nabalik ko siya eh. Buka na tanginan. Halag si Lito Basad. Naka tatlo ka star. Ha? Mobile Legends sa'yo mamaya. Hello? Nakamute ka, sir. Nakamute ka. Nakamute ka, sir. Natutog na si Sir. Sir. Sir, nakamute ka, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, hello. Welcome back, hello. sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Come out, sir. Hello. Hello, hello sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um. Wala na naman. No? Yes, sir. Wala na naman. Hello, okay. Nakita ko slide? Yes, sir. Nakita na, na, sir. Nakita na, sir. Wala na, sir. Ay mo, Ray. Wala na kita, sir. Muang na. Okay. Num number three. Yes. Audience. Sir, sa authors pa po tayo. Two pa, sir. Ha? Number two pa po, sir. Katong two sa author ni siya, di ba? Ang background sa author, untayihang qualification, mao ni siya. Okay? And then, ang number three, kaya ang audience, kinsa ang iyahang uh, para, para kang kinsa ang kaninga mga message or kani nga story kinsay audience ani nga story so mo na siya ang audience what is its target audience where is the text found what does the author expect the reader to get from his or her composition are you a part of the author's audience so the, the audience will identify uh, para kang kinsa kana siya nga message example kung para sa mga bata so, the written text or the story or the statement para sa bata. Uh, na siya. You need to identify the audience 
para mahibawaan nimo para kang kinsa ang message. Okay? Mao na siyang audience. That's how you analyze the written text. When you encounter a written text or a book, so you need to identify who is the audience. Um, what is the purpose of the writer? Who is the audience that the writer is talking about? So yung nana siya. Kaupat topic and possession. So is the author's argument on the topic at hand supported by valid evidence? Is the author's possession clear? Is it presented as objective? Is her, his, her stand based on the author's possession or simply from personal observation or experience? So, unsay possession, what is the stand of the author about the written text, about the story, or about the book? So, what is the topic and the possession? What is the message of the written text? So, kana siya. Kao, ikalima is research sources. So, uh, research or sources. So, where does the written text coming from? So, do previous researches have a role in supporting the author's argument? So is the written text coming from the the other author or the other sources and then going to have an argument so which of the reference references elicits further discussion so kana nga written text na ba other meaning aside from its meaning is there a continuous uh, meaning after you gave your own judgment and conclusion of the written text. So, napabana siya next nga other explanation. Or did you find something, um, ideas or kanang evaluation nga wala diha na mention sa author? So, mao na siya research and sources. Asa man jud siya gikan or unsa man jud ang yahang bot pasabot. So kana siya. Next is proof and evidence. So na ba siya proof tinuod ba gyud siya na ba siya ebidensya? So what are the proofs evidence presented by the author throughout the text? Did they come from credible sources? What type of proof is used by the author? Okay. And then, does this proof validate the arguments? Which of the evidence carries the most uh, weight? So, ana siya. Asa may pinakabugat, kini siya nga evidence or kani nga other proof. So, that's how you present. Na remember ninyo kung saan pagsuwat sa essay, di ba, namoy experts' point of view. So, dapat inyuhan na siyang I connect ang inyuhang essay pinagi sa mga experts nga point of view. So ingon ana siya. Okay. So next organization, how are the information organized in the text? For what reason are they arranged in this way? Where did the author plainly states his or her stand on the topic? Is the organization driven more by the content, the information that needs to be presented by the author's argument, by the needs of the audience, or by some combination of the three? So how is it organized? Unsa ang sequence sa written text or sa story? Organized ba siya or na by other way nga keep present niya? So mauna siya. Where did the author plainly state ang yang stand on the topic? So, ingon ana. Okay. Ang ikawalo kay style. So, what is the style of the author? What can you infer from the author's choice of words? From what perspective did the author write the text? Was he or she in inclusive? 
with his or her choice of words. Sa yahabag yun gikan ang mga words or ni pick up lang siya sa mga words sa other nga mga experts. Kanya yahang giapil sa yahang uh, written text o sa yahang story. Did they use jargons or slanted meanings? So if there are, were they properly defined for the reader's convenience and understanding? So kanang jargons nga mga meaning, example, Cebuano, nabay mga words nga haong yun para sa Cebuano or nigamit ba siya og mga language nga dili Cebuano? So niya, appeal niya sa Cebuano. So mga jargons or slanted meanings nga na ay mga words sa Cebuano kung imo na siyang isulti sa Tagalog lahi ang meaning. So nagamit ba siya ana nga mga uh, words para nga masabtan gyud sa mubasa o ma, ma na ay convenience ang pagbasa sa usa ka tawo. Okay, what other writing techniques did the author apply in writing the text? Okay. Did the author analyze each sentence structure, figurative language, or rhetorical questions existing in the text? Na ba siya gigamit niya mga figurative language or mga rhetorical questions? Kanang mga word nga lahi ang meaning ba? Na mga figurative language. Um, Sabtan niyo ang figurative language kung namoy creative writing na na siya figurative language okay number nine drawing conclusion so what does the author want to highlight compare and contrast the text with other similar ones identify the similarities and differences in their approach of the same topic so Sama sa inyong essay, ang kinalasa na ay conclusion. So, does the author highlight? So, kung suwat yung essay, imo bang gi-highlight ang imuhang thesis statement o balik? Or na ba kay gi kanang similarities o differences sa imuhang topic? I-appeal ni mo sa conclusion? Ano siya? So, uh, that is how you analyze the written text. Nine, nine, nine ka ways on how to analyze the written text. Number one, purpose uh, or context. Number two, authors. Number three, audience. Number four, topic and possession. Number five, research or sources. Number six, proof evidence. Seven, organization. Number eight, style. Number nine, drawing conclusion. Okay. And then, what I can do. So this is an exercise. Uh, um, application activity. So actually, we are done with our lesson. Um, this is our active uh, application activity. Am I still here? Napako? Yes, sir. Okay. Ang atuang application activity is you are going to answer. Ah, uh, pangitao na ko ha. Going to answer kanisha. Um, activity. Akong ipo sa ato ang group. So, kani. Asa to atong group? Okay, this one. Akong ipo. This is the application activity. What I can do. And then... You just read the passage and then answer the questions. And then the next one is the post test. I will post the post test. 
Kanisha Postes. Okay. <clears throat> so, mao na siya. Uh, we are done with our discussion tonight. I'm so much thankful for all of your presence na you bisag kapila ko na wala, you are still there. You didn't leave me. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your patience. And then, thank you so much for this uh, opportunity to be with you tonight. I'm so much grateful for all of your participation. Um, thank you so much for your dedication. And then, we will close this um, uh, class with a prayer. Kisaganan mag-volunteer. Anyone? <laughs> si Bea ni Tago. <laughs> oh, Rosaline Sagisabal, thank you so much for volunteering. Dukana, sir. Wala mo. <laughs> Kinsa, ikaw na lang, Jisabel? Hindi, sir. <laughs> Kinsa man di ay? Ikaw lang, Jisabel, salamat. Si Juan, sir, anang Jumante. Si Diamante. Di human na man siya. Siya may ni-open ganina. Ikaw lang, Jezebel. Thank you. Dukan ako, sir. I-cluncer ka na si Cluncer ka na si Renan, sir. Si Alaya, sir. Ah, si Alaya. Ano si Renan, sir. May ganang open. Mga close of prayer, sir. Prayer? Ah, sige, si Renan kay lalaki na sad. Oh, Asama si Renan. Ada, sir. Oh, Renan, 8-12. Ikaw daw mag-closing prayer. <laughs> okay na? Huh? <laughs> Ikaw lagi daw, Jezebel. Ikaw daw. Si ako, sir. Wala man, wala man itingog si Renan. Si Aleya daw, sir. Ah, sige. Ah. Anak daw, sir. Si Aleya daw. Ah, sige. Aleya, ikaw daw. Lama. Aleya ako, sir. Wala, okay lang yan. Kahit konti, okay na yan. Sige, kay maputla na sa tag-internet. Okay, sir. Okay, lang sir. Okay, 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 sir. Here, I. Hello. <laughs> Tempers. Balik sir, balik sir. Sorry. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Excuse me. Um, one time, I mean, the blessings is always stored and Tana pa maabot nga pagong lesson na malearn na mo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for your closing prayer. Um, thank you so much everyone for staying with us tonight. Bisan daghan kayo ang putol-putol. I hope you learned something from our lesson. Um, our lesson is um, the best na lesson. It's all about critical reading. And then there's a lot of kind of ways on how to really read critically. And then after we read, we will connect this with our reasoning. And then our reasoning will be identified with the facts and then opinion. And then we can have our conclusion. So 
Thank you so much. I hope na ma-answer ninyo yung tarong ang post-test o ang what I can do. <laughs> um, kung, kung gamay yung score, palihog, answer lang ang balik para mudako yung score. Okay? So, okay. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. Maying gabi. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Si Bea, oh. Happy ka ayo. Bye. Bye, sir. Shout out. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.